The B2B Barometer is a biannual survey of B2B clients and B2B agencies on the state of the B2B landscape, what the latest trends are and what's happening in the marketplace. It was established three years ago by the Institute of Direct and Digital Marketing, working with ABBA, the Association of Business to Business Agencies, and Circle Research. All of the reports are available free of charge to B2B marketing professionals and are available to download on the website www.b2bbarometer.co.uk. The latest wave is the sixth wave and I'm here today to tell you about some insights from this latest survey. The outputs from the survey have been deemed to be very valuable, primarily because they're available in two different formats. One is a full length report with all of the detailed findings, but most importantly, there's a set of summary charts which are loaded to SlideShare that people can, can then use in their own presentations, training courses, and indeed have been used at other conferences. What's really interesting from the latest wave of the B2B Barometer Report, Wave 6, is the fact that the market sentiment is very positive. 80% of the clients and agencies that completed the survey have said that they feel very positive with the outlook for the next 12 months. 61% of agencies actually quoted that they're expecting their revenues to increase over the next 12 months. And 48% of clients are expecting to spend more, of, uh, more budget uh, in the next 12 months. I think it's great to see that the market is changing to a more positive outlook since a very deep recession. I think reasons for this is that people have gone through a very hard time refining their marketing and delivering value, and now they're looking for far more creative and innovative ways to do their marketing. In the sixth wave of the B2B Barometer Report, it talks about content-driven marketing, which we're seeing more of. In fact, 86% of clients are already using content across most of their marketing. What's really important though is that the content is very tailored to the buyer cycle. In fact, the content needs to be very smart. It needs to be social, measurable, authentic, relevant and trusted. We're talking about smart marketing. And in the report, it looks at some of the different content pieces that the clients deem more valuable. Some of those that are quoted are clearly case studies, white papers, videos, and seminars are other ones that have been quoted as well. The fascinating thing uh, for me about the research is the fact that it's asking questions about how companies view the future, what they're going to do in the future, and where their key priorities are. In this wave of the survey, we actually ask uh, the respondents to tell us about where they are, where their big bets are, what are the key things that are they're focused on in terms of their marketing activity. Uh, for brands themselves, it's very much around lead generation. Probably no surprise with that, with the current economic uh, climate. But it's around lead generation, it's about quality of leads, and it's about the cross-sell and upsell opportunity. Probably not surprisingly, the agency uh, community that participated in the study as well have similar views. So we're very much looking around uh, the lead generation aspects. But what is really interesting to me is the difference between some of the responses that we got from the agencies and from the client side themselves. So in terms of tactics and channels, what are the key things that are, are driving activity by uh, brand side marketers? Well, interestingly enough, and quite surprising to me, is events are at the top of the pile in terms of efficiency for raising brand awareness. Client side marketers are still very much building their strategies around events and seminars highly effective and driving the, the brand awareness that they're looking for. Underneath that, they're, they're highlighting things such as PR being very effective as well. So flipping across to the agency side, what are we seeing? Well, we're seeing PR very much at the lead uh, in terms of efficiency for brand uh, awareness driving activities, whereas events and seminars are right down the list of channels. So there's a real difference there in terms of opinion about what is effective and what is not effective. One of the key things that I find really fascinating about the research results is looking into what channels uh, marketeers are using uh, in terms of driving their brand awareness and also their lead generation activities. If we move to the effectiveness of demand generation platforms, brand side marketeers very much have trade shows and events at the top of the list again. 
This is followed by email marketing and paid search marketing, which are providing all of those leads and uh, the most effective channels. On the agency side, they go very much more for a traditional approach of looking at direct mail uh, as being the top of the effective channels, closely followed by items such as paid search. So again, there's another difference between what the agency side are doing and what the client side think is most effective. And finally, another really interesting fact to come out of this for me is the difference between what agencies think and what client-side marketers think about integration. Interestingly, three quarters of client-side marketers are saying that their campaigns are well integrated. Over a third are actually stating that they're really well integrated and they couldn't do much better on the integration of those campaigns. However, we flip over to the agency side and their view of their clients' campaigns is a very different story. They're suggesting that less than a half of campaigns are actually truly integrated. Now, is this because B2B marketers are comfortable in the techniques and the methods that they're using today? Or is it the fact that they're actually missing some tricks here? The agency community have a huge level of understanding of techniques and ways of integrating campaigns, probably more so than many, many in-house marketeers. Is there something to be learned from in-house marketeers from the agency side? I think there probably is. Please do visit the B2B Barometer website where you can download the full report for free. Some of the key findings include the fact that market sentiment is improving and very positive outlook for the next 12 months. Content marketing is certainly on the up, but absolutely needs to be aligned to the buyer cycle. There are differences between client-side marketeers and agencies in terms of integrated marketing and how effectively they're doing that, as well as the effectiveness of different marketing channels. Please make use of the SlideShare presentation that will be available that summarises all of the findings, as well as the report in full, which is available from the website.